Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the um, image line and user license agreements. And I believe that's an important topic because in the past few uh, days, I've been receiving a lot of questions about how to use the uh, the FL Studio license, um, if users are allowed to share the license and stuff like that. So I don't want to make a super long video. That's why I'm breaking it down, maybe two or three parts. This is part one, basically, and I'm going to talk about the basic points, um, especially around uh, the nature of the license, who can use it and how you can use it. All right. So the first question is, how does the FL Studio license work? Uh, there are five things, um, five attributes that the license has. The first one is personal. This means whenever you purchase it, it's for you alone. It's not for you and other people. Um, I'm not aware if they have any uh, company license or something, but then if you decide to purchase an edition on the ImageLine website, by default, you're going to get a personal license. So it's for you alone. Uh, Non-exclusive refers to um, the fact that you can have it installed on multiple machines at the same time. So for instance, um, I can be using this laptop and then I have a license on it to unlock FL Studio 20. And then at the same time, in a studio, I might have another PC where I have an unlocked version of FL Studio 20 with that same license. So it can run on different machines. Uh, but then it is non-transferable, which means uh, you can decide that, you know, I don't want it anymore. I just want to give it to a friend. It doesn't work like that. If it's for you alone, then uh, that's how it stays. You know, it doesn't change after a year or something. That's why you don't have to renew the license. It's a one-time fee that you pay and then uh, the license is yours um, forever. I think people sort of abuse the, uh, the license because um, the fact that you can uh, transfer it, although it's non-transferable, you know, the fact that it's non-exclusive rather, uh, this means you can easily like create a blog and share your red key with other people. But um, this is a very bad thing to do. That's why I'm making these videos. And if you check out to unlock FL Studio uh, in my previous tutorials, you will see that I'm only showing you the official steps, which are basically the legal or valid steps. Uh, worldwide, this attribute right here uh, refers to the idea that you can be in any part of the world and still be able to purchase a license and apply it to your FL Studio software. It is also revocable because if um, ImageLine gets to know that you are misusing your license, let's say you're just sharing it around on the web for profit or maybe for popularity, for instance, or um, maybe you're, you're just engaging in something that is not allowed based on this agreement, then they can revoke your license. This means you will not be able to automatically upgrade your FL Studio um, software to a newer version with the same license. This is uh, pretty much an extended version of what I've just explained. The fact that it is personal, it means it's one person only on one PC or uh, multiple computers, but then it has to be for the same uh, producer, the same person. You cannot share it. It is not a concurrent license. So multiple people cannot own the same license. If you have a license and your friend also wants the unlocked version of FL Studio 20, then they have to head over to the ImageLine website and make their own purchase. There is also a way that you can purchase a license for someone else, but then I'll cover that uh, in a future tutorial. So now um, that's where people are confused. Are they purchasing the license or are they purchasing FL Studio? Well, the thing is FL Studio is, is not sold. Okay, um, if you go on the ImageLine website, they allow you to uh, download and install uh, the full demo version. Now the demo version although has limited functionality and uh, it does not allow you to reopen saved files or saved projects, you can still create bits and uh, exports and import and stuff like that. So basically you can make a full track if you know how to go about um, the, the various steps involved. Um, but then what you need to do if you want to unlock the full version or have extra functionalities or maybe um, have more plugins, for instance, then you need to have a license. So there are different licenses um, attached to different editions. So you're going to have the um, 
the fruity edition, which is the uh, most affordable one for 99 USD. Then you're gonna have the um, the producer edition and then the signature edition. And then finally, you're gonna have the uh, the full uh, plugins edition, uh, which comes with uh, you know the maximum amounts of uh, plugins and functionalities at a discounted price. So the license is what you need to to have. You can upgrade your license if you want more features, or I'm not sure you can downgrade though. But then you can upgrade. Uh, as for FL Studio, you can download it for free. Okay, that's the demo version. Now. Um, Imagine, for instance, you have a PC uh, on which you've installed your red key and I have a tutorial on that on my channel. Uh, you might want to check the uh, top right corner of this video right now for the link to that, uh, to that video. So um, let's say you have a red key and then your PC suddenly stops working permanently, for instance. Let's say it just crashes. Uh, what happens? You know, you get a new PC. Now, where's your license? Well, the thing is, your red key is available in your image line accounts. So at any time, anywhere, simply log into your image line accounts on a PC or on a mobile phone, doesn't really matter. Just download your red key. I guess a PC will be the better option. So just download your red key and then um, reinstall it. Okay, I think in my um, previous tutorial, which was the one where I showed you how you can use your image line credentials to unlock the software. I showed you how you can use both methods at the same time. So let's say you're using your image line account credentials to unlock it. Uh, if ever you decide to run your red key, it's not going to conflict with your, with your previous uh, activation. Now, what if, for instance, you can't connect to the internet? What you can do is Whilst FL Studio is working right now, you can have a backup copy of the software. So what I used to do, for instance, previously is I I had an unlocked version installed on a backup PC and I had unlocked it with my license. And then on my everyday PC, I also had the, uh, the uh, software running. So um, the day my, my main PC stopped working, I still had the other copy on my backup laptop. So you can do that if you want. Uh, you can have FL Studio installed on two different machines, uh, unlocked with the same license, uh, used only by yourself, and then uh, one might serve as a backup copy and the other one can serve as your, as a copy you use at the time. Um, now, FL Studio, of course, um, is pretty well developed, so you don't risk having any serious issues but then sometimes like if you have FL Studio 12 and then you upgrade to FL Studio 20 you might notice some some features have a few defects um, I think in my case I had an issue with uh, the video plugin which enables you to create um, uh, sort of if you want our video clips for YouTube this kind of thing then it wasn't working because I think one file was missing so you're gonna have such issues from time to time uh, usually what you can do is simply log into your image and accounts, go online to the forum and report your case. And then uh, one of the admins, uh, usually it will be uh, a guy called Scott, will get back to you and you know interact with you and stuff. Now that's the benefits of having a license because you get access to some uh, deep supports even when you have uh, troubles that are not really um, common among other producers. But then if you have a cracked copy of FL Studio, Let's say um, you want to play smart and then you just get somebody else's red key or you just get a crack from the internet, then you're not going to be able to um, have access to online support directly from ImageLine. To me, it's not very convenient. You know, it's best to have at least a 99 USD version, uh, the license, and then uh, if ever you run into trouble, then you know at least somebody's got your back. Um, another cool feature, I've talked about it um, several times in previous videos, is the free lifetime updates. Uh, so this means uh, you purchase it once. Uh, when I say you purchase it, I'm referring to one of the editions, whether it's the Fruity um, Producer Signature or, or any edition. And then uh, that's it. Whether they, they release FS Studio 21, 22 or 30, you don't have to make another purchase. It's the same license, it's just going to be upgraded automatically, you just log in, uh, you can use any method available and then uh, that's it. So um, it's a one-time purchase and uh, lifetime opportunities. So um, 
I think in, in the next tutorial I'll be rather talking about uh, the difference between the demo and um, and the main version and other aspects of the end user license agreements. Uh, that's it for now.